So that's what goes on there. Now, let me take you through it, okay? I'm just going to go. These are the shouts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. I'll do that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. Tony Iommi guitar solo. This is the second track ever after they scared the bejesus out of everybody with the first one. What is it? And then one, two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. Let me take you through that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, go sick. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ba 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 One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That's what happens there, you see. And that is also the verse. One day a wizard walked by and all that sort of stuff. So what I'm doing here is explaining space to you within um, a classic song. The wizard. Okay, so um, not often played. Um, it's not, you know, it's not like war pigs. That's got plenty of space too. But paranoid. Andy, you wanted, you said, oh, I'm feeling paranoid about this. Um, but not this time. I'll do that when it's, anniversary comes up but the first album 50 what a valentine's day present he are darling <laughs> does it does everyone know the story okay so what happened where I was let me let me go through it i'll talk about bill ward now okay so because i've talked about the wizard let me get my newts there we go so that i haven't finished with that yet so i'm going to put that to the side bill ward was built bar uh, born on the 5th of may 1948 and there you are uh, I've already mentioned his favourite drummers were Gene Krupa, Buddy Rich and Louis Belson. Now, um, Bill Ward was with Tony Iommi in a band called Mythology. And Geezer, an Aussie, was in a band called Rare Brew. And then they joined up and they called themselves Earth. They found, them, found out that there was another band called Earth and they were a pop band. Quite a famous story um, in one of their docos that they turned up and the guy booked the wrong band so everyone was ready to go light and they went... <laughs> You know, sorry, kids. <laughs> and there's that. So they renamed them. What happened was they couldn't get a gig, right? So Giza, and he's look, they're looking out this, you know, cold rehearsal room window on the first floor somewhere, and everyone's lining up to go and see uh, a Dracula movie. <laughs> they're lined up around the block. And so Giza said, look at everybody going in to, you know, lining up to to uh, watch a scary movie. Why don't we start playing scary music? <laughs> Bang! And Black Sabbath, by Black Sabbath with their first song. And my God, this, it, it was set forevermore. And there you go. There you are. So that's, the, that's that. And Bill Ward had a beard and all that. And um, he had it down to a pen nib. Do people remember that? And they used to call him Nibby. <laughs> hey, Nibby. And then someone put full stops after it and decided to call it Nativity in Black. So, and there's that one there. So that's, that's Bill Ward. Oh, he's a gent. He's a wonderful man, wonderful drummer. I loved him. Did you know Frank Zappa's favourite Black Sabbath song was Supernaut? Off volume four, but I'll get to that one other day. Wrong album. There we go. So we're up to. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What kind of counting was that one, too? 
Just keeps walking, da 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 da, never talking, ba da ba ba. And that's what it is, you see. Ah, oh, what a drum track! It's got so much space, you know, sort of thing. And um, that's beautiful. You go with what you've got. You know what happens? Everyone, you know, my way or the highway, and all that sort of stuff. But when you've got a band and you know what the people can do, you write for them. That's what Zappa did. That's what Poot did for Keef. He knew he had. Um, Everyone knew that was the best rhythm section in rock. God help me, John Entwistle on bass and Keith Moon on drums. Say what you like about my favourite Madman, but um, what it is, is they were explosive, absolutely explosive, you know. And you, you, you can't quantise the who. You can't put a metronome to them because they did accelerandos. They came down, they went up, they went around, they did a solo. It was all of this sort of business, you know. And the covers they did... My lord, here we go. Oh, well, a young man ain't got nothing in the world these days. Damn. I said, a young man ain't got nothing in the world these days. Ow. Nowadays, Keith Moon would do um, walking, walking by myself. No, that's another one I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me talk about Young Man Blues now, right? So I've been talking about The Wizard. I'm going to come back. I'm actually not scatterbrained. Um, what I'm actually doing is the subject of tonight's show is space, okay? Keeping space for your rhythm section going with what you got, knowing who you have in the band and working within that. And there it is there. People strive to get the perfect sound because it's in their head. But the thing is, you know, nothing happens. <laughs> you go with what you got. Dear Alan Zavod told me that. It's always stuck. Regular watchers of Facebook and the show. Go with what you got. That's what you got. Let's go with it. We've got to do this. There it is. Okay? And, um, you know... Eh, it's its own kind of perfect, really. There you go. 